Here today we are looking at our brand new MI300X system. The first thing that we want to do is check that there's been really no damage during shipping and that the security seals on the top and the sides are intact to make sure that it was not disturbed during transit. So first we want to unstrap the system and get the packaging out of the way so it doesn't cause any slips or trips. We can then break the security seals. There. And there. And then, if you come over and help me please. And we lift up. And over. Inside, we're going to find the contents and an accessory box, which we'll go into later. We then have the outer packaging, which includes the rails, and then the system itself. Blue tags can be pulled, and the plastic removed, and we give it another visual inspection to make sure that we've received it in good condition. That looks good. Once the system has been moved to a safe location, we can now start to inspect the system further. So, we have two screws holding the GPU tray with captive screws that we can undo. And two handles to release and pull out the tray. You'll need another person to help you with this as it is very heavy. Under each one of these heat sinks is an MI300X GPU accelerator from AMD. Each one consumes more than 700 watts with 192 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. As you can see, this slides into the larger system. We have fans for keeping the rest of the system cool. And then we have NVMe drives in order to provide enough storage throughput for AI training and inference requirements. Behind our NVMe drive and system fans, we have the motherboard and processors, all located on a tray. To remove these, we have two screws here and here, which are retentive. And remove like so, and we pull down on the handle, and we gently slide the tray out. There is a retention here and on the other side, and we can pull this out for further inspection. Inside of our system here, we have our main board, and we have our two Genoa 96 core processors. In total, we also have it equipped with one and a half terabytes of RAM. And as you can see here, we have also all the heat sinking, for the PCIe switching and all of our lanes go out the back to so high density connectors which connect to a mid plane which then connect to our GPU tray above and to all of our PCIe slots in the rear for networking. And here we can see the rear of the system is dominated by fans all of which are hot swappable. We also have six 3000 watt power supplies which pull double duty in both cooling the system and keeping the system powered. In the middle here, we have the space for all the PCIe expansion cards. Predominantly, you can use this for networking, but of course, can be populated by us. We also have our out of band management and our display output. This MI300X AMD system is now available for testing in Boston Labs. Please use the link below to sign up.